Hey everybody, I am gonna show you one of my absolute favorite haircuts on a little boy. It's the disconnected haircut where we shave clear up to the part, keep the top a little bit longer so they can style it cool and then blend this side just like normal. Guards have numbers on them, so you take that and just put the top on first and then snap it down. So as soon as that snap, as soon as you hear that snap, the clipper's ready. Flip on the clipper and start on this side. Since we're not taking this side all the way up to the part, I only want to shave up about an inch above the ear. And then when we come around to this side, we'll shave clear up to the part. One of the best tips I can give you is your left hand. When your little boy won't keep his head still, you keep that left hand and you just kind of cradle the head. I flipped all the way around and now I'm going to work on coming clear up to the part. Get the top wet so you can make that hard part. And comb this top hair over just so you can see where that part needs to go. See right there, that's where we have done this before. And if this is the first time doing this haircut, make multiple different parts so you can see exactly what part looks best on your little boy. Use that left hand again and put the clippers right on this part and go all the way back. Put the edge of that clipper right on that part. Now that we've taken the clippers all the way up to this hard part, now we just need to start blending this short part into the long part, if that makes sense. So take your clippers and start coming around the head again. This time, when you hit the long hair, rock your clippers back. And this will just kind of help start that blending process. So hit the long hair. As soon as that, clip, that hair comes out of your clippers, rock it away from the head. Take off your number one guard, put on your one and a half guard. Like I said, put the top on, and as soon as you hear that click, it's ready to go. As soon as that long hair comes out of your clippers, rock it away from the head. Go up one more size, I'm going to go to a number two, and just repeat the process again. Rocking these clippers away from the head will give you a pretty decent fade, but we're going to perfect it towards the end of the haircut with our scissors and our comb. Once the sides are done, we're now going to work on the top. We're gonna to get the top wet, and then part about a half inch to an inch section right down the middle of the head. We call it the Mohawk Middle Guide. Here's my middle guide. I'm going to comb it straight up, and this will determine the whole length of the top. Comb it up, cut, and then move back to the next section. And see, that's where I cut right there, and then I will match. So basically, everything on the top is matched to this middle guide right there. Match to the middle guide right there. Once that middle guide is done, then comb it over to one side and match this whole side to the middle part, the middle mohawk section. So we will comb that up. See, that's where I've already cut right there. And then I will match that. Take little sections all the way back this side of the hair. So when your little boy keeps moving his head kind of like he does, a little tip that you can do, a little trick that you can do, is hold the hair with tension. And it's not like he can move that much if you're holding it with some tension. Did you know I play tricks on you when I cut your hair patch? Mm -hmm. You don't know that, but I really do. Keep your little boy's head straight, and then pull the hair straight up. When you get around to the back, we're just going to pivot around this middle section again. So just take that middle guide over and over and pivot around the back. Once the top is finished, 
comb the bangs straight forward and just barely, barely take off the little tips of the bangs. And then we call it the unicorn angle. So pull them out to the unicorn angle and make sure there's no little straggler hairs. See how there's a few, right? Patchy hooks up here. See how there's some stragglers right there? Take those off. We are going to blend this short part into the long part. It's called clipper over comb. We're going to move straight up the head and as soon as that hair comes out of the comb, we're going to put your clippers flush against the comb and slide it across to blend it and to cut it. So move the comb straight up. As soon as that hair comes out, use those clippers and travel that comb all the way up the head. You don't want to round it because then you'll get rid of all this cute hair. Comb it this way. Go straight up. Make a cut with your clippers. Keep going straight up, straight up, straight up. So this side, this part is blended. Now move back to this part and do the same thing. A common mistake that people have when they're starting out is when they come up, they're going to either put the clippers too high up on the comb like that, or too low on the comb like that, and their clippers will be tilted one way or the other way, and sometimes you'll get a nick in the hair. So make sure your, your clippers are right flush with your comb when you're sliding them across. So when you come around the back, there's going to be, everyone has a little swirl right there, and so turn your comb multiple different directions so you can make sure that there aren't any long straggler hair, hairs in the back. Essentially what we're trying to do is have a seamless blend from the short clipper part to the scissor part. If your little boy has fine hair like mine does, I'll usually put this first guard that I use, which was a number one, and I will come up and just, as soon as that hair comes through the clipper, I'll rock my clippers away from the head again. And this will make sure that blend is absolutely perfect. Last part is the outline. This is my favorite little guy. It's called the peanut. This is your trimmer. We're going to put a straight line in front of the ear, around the ear, diagonal to the base of the neck, and straight across. Make sure you're using just the very edge of your peanut trimmer to go around the ear. I'm not saying that these are impossible to cut the ears with, but in 12 years of doing hair, I've only ever cut one ear. So I would say it's a pretty good tool to have. So come just as close to the hairline as possible around that ear, and then do a diagonal all the way down. Then when it comes to the back, if you put the neck all the way down, it flattens the neck out, which will allow you to get a better straight line. Remember that left hand trick that I was telling you about? This is how you can really move your boy's head around. <laughs> Hi, buddy. So many trimmers and this is literally my favorite. I've had the same one for about 10 years and I've done hair professionally in this salon for 12 years. This will last you a long, long time. We're going to put a hard part in his hair. Use your little trusty peanut clipper. Remember that left hand? Hold it there, hold the hair back with the thumb and just barely touch the head and it will give you a nice clean part. Every little boy is going to be different, so kind of just eyeball how far back you want to go with a hard part. But I usually don't go all the way back. I usually go about three quarters back. The haircut is done and it looks so cute. I can't wait to watch him style it every morning. Make sure you teach your little boy how to do their hair because it'll save you so much time in the morning and who really has extra time in the morning to do boy's hair? favorite product is this matte clay by Big and Sexy. It's matte, but it holds really, really well. So we get some in his fingertips, rubs it between his hands, and works it through his hair. You're looking good, buddy. I can't wait for you to try this haircut on your little boy. It's so cute, and it actually grows out really, really well. Good luck with it. <laughs>